Hey guys, today we're going to be making a uh, like a crane fly or a daddy long legs. And uh, for this you're going to need some brown saddle hackle, moose mane. Uh, for this video I'm going to be using natural colored deer hair, but if you want to change it up a little bit you can use olive. Um, you need some black thread. I use Danville's waxed because it kind of makes it so I don't need to wax it while I'm tying. You want your whip finish tool and some scissors. Gonna need a needle, so I'm just gonna use my bodkin for this video. And you're going to need pheasant tail. And the pheasant tail is for the uh, the legs. You just uh, you bunch it up. Get a couple strands together and tie a knot in it. Kind of makes it look like a little bit of leg. And for a hook, you're going to need. I prefer to use a curved shank size 12 uh, TMCO. It uh, I just feel like it gets, gives for a better hook set. And uh, but you could go from a 12 to an 8 and straight shank. It doesn't matter that much. Just the hook set to me. It's a uh, it's a great fly for smallmouth, and uh, I've had a lot of trout on it over the years that I've used it. <laughs> Works fine. So uh, you're gonna want to start with by putting your needle in the vise and uh, taking your thread and uh, move the camera over just a little bit. And you want to start your thread on the very tip of the needle. Just go over it two or three times. Cut off your excess, and uh, if you have waxed, it, uh, it it'll work a little bit. But I like to take a little chip of beeswax and just put a little on the needle where the thread is, and then just go up the needle. As long as I'm going to make the body go down the thread a little bit, just gives it uh, makes it a lot easier to slide it off the needle. Just go up and down a little bit, and then come back to your end point. Okay. And then you're going to take your deer hair and uh, get a, it's measured in pencils, so I do about a, a half a pencil or a pencil of deer hair, not very much at all. And uh, you're going to want to cut that down at the very base. And then just, it's got a lot of fuzz and stuff on it. I don't know if you can see that, that's what's, it's just junk that... You don't need that's going to just make your fly. Uh, deer hair is hollow, so it's buoyant, but with the fluff and stuff on the bottom there, it's going to be a lot, a lot more liable to sink. And uh, then you're going to grab it by the tip and knock any of the shorter fibers out. So you end up with generally a, a bunch of all about the same length. And, uh, leave about a half an inch remaining and set it evenly around the needle throw a couple thread wraps over it and then cinch it down very lightly you don't want to go hard on this at all and then wrap down through real quick just real lightly and then fold it over the needle Okay, and this is what's going to allow you to make a detached body on this. So, it uh, allows you to have a bigger fly with a smaller hook and uh, makes it so that the fish can't see it as well. Just, it, it just, it's one more step to get on the all natural side of things while you're fishing. So, when you fold it over and are, have it pinched over with your hand, okay, you're going to come up. And over and just make little sections. Okay, so you have that little nub, and then you move over and do another one. Now, if you're real worried about it, you can flip the hair back over and then tie underneath and then go over again, but I'm not too worried about it because it's just going to get destroyed by the fish, anyways. So you just continue to make these little sections and what will start to happen is uh, if you look at one of these crane flies or uh, daddy long legs 
You know, some people call them mosquito hawks in real life. They have this, like, ribbed body, kind of. So you just want to, you know, just keep going with that till you get about six or seven in there. And, uh, you know, it's all, it's all depending on what you're going after or how big you want to make the fly. You know, it, there's no real set size. It's all up to you. I've made them, you know, down to this size with the same amount of ribs in them. Or I've made them, you know, twice this size for real big largemouth. But yeah, that looks about that looks about good to me. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to leave that all fluffy. Okay, and you're gonna take whip finish tool. You're gonna treat it like you're finishing a fly. You know, you're gonna throw it over and then come up. And do three wraps. You know, usually do five on a fly, but just do three. Okay, and leave your thread attached for now. Or, well, I guess you could cut it if you wanted to, but it's just going to make attaching the body a little bit more difficult. And then, since you put the wax on there, what you do is you just go from this end and just push. And it should all slide off. And then you end up with the body just kind of dangling there. And take your needle off, grab your hook, put it in the vise. And then uh, what you want to do is you want to take that, set it on the end, just maybe a third of the way up the shank and start your wraps again. And then go back backwards down the other end and cover the next segment. So attach with that one segment to the hook. So now, basically, you have your detached body. You know, I mean, that's a lot longer than the hook was going to let you go, so. Okay. And, uh, like I said, you can take that moose mane, and when you're tying it on, you can throw the tail on there, too, and that'll come off, and you'll have the little prongs sticking out. But, uh, I'm going I'm to put antennas on this instead of a tail, so. Just trim off the rest, you know, you're not going to use it for anything unless you uh, wanted to make this parachute style, which I have tried, and it, uh, well, needless to say, it does not work that good. So you have your detached body on there, and uh, <clears throat> now what you want to do is you want to take your, uh, your legs here. You know, I have four of them, so you're just going to, like, whatever looks about about right. You know, I usually have it so that the te the bottom of the legs is at, the like, the second little bump there. And, uh, just tie that on there on the side. And take your next. Put that on there. And then take your other two and put those on the opposite side and just wrap it down pretty close to the eye you know you don't want to go right to the eye because then when you're tying off it's a pain to get that knot so that's not the thread wraps aren't going over the eye because if you have a thicker leader material then it won't fit through there and that's just that's just not fun. Makes for a very bad day of fishing. Okay, so once you've got those on there it's starting to look a little look a little crazy. I don't know if you can tell but so once you've got that done, just kinda smooth it off with your thread and uh <clears throat> now we're ready to tie in the wings. And for the wings we're going to use that brown saddle hackle there. Take uh, take two feathers that look about the same width, you know, length. Obviously, one shorter than the other here. But when you pull them up to each other, they should be about the same width. And uh, take them and lay them over the top here. I want them to be about to the end of the tail. And then you're going to take them and strip so that they kind of flare out like that and just kind of 
strip off all the little pieces of the feather so that you end up with that you know, when you're ready to tie on and just just trim this off like that. so you want to lay them one on top of the other so it looks like a single here and then just lay it right by the legs and tie it on you know, use your finger to hold it down and uh, cinch it down good um, if you don't want to take the moose mane and add the antennas on, what you can do is you can take these and leave them on and just tie them out to the eye of the hook and take your fingernail and curl them, you know. And, uh, for the sake of this, we'll just let it go. And then you bend them back and then tie them down again facing this way. And now you're going to bend them up. So they should be sticking just about straight up here. And just kind of separate them. So that you have your wings. And then you're going to run your thread back behind the wings up to the base of the tail that you put on. And now you're going to take another hackle. Here, and you're going to take a. You want to take one that's got decent length but isn't too wide and by that I mean something right along the lines of this you know, it's, it's, it's fairly long but it's about the same width of the wings and uh, you have this little fuzzy spot right here you just want to take that and strip that clean and then you're going to tie it in right there Just wrap down to the wings and then pull this up and wrap back over it. You know, you want it you don't want it to just fall apart. Once one fish hits it and then snip off your extra. And then kind of clean that up a little bit if you feel like it. And then wrap it towards the front. Okay, and then you can take it your hackle out. Oh, you can get hackle pliers to clamp onto the hackle while you turn it around, but I just find that it's a waste of money because well this works so just as fine and to be honest here it's really not that big of an invention but uh, so this works just as well I, mean, I feel like I actually do a better job when I have my hands on it I'm not as likely to stray off and then just take that and fold everything back and create a nice little head on there. You know, just kind of clean it up a little bit. Take your whip finish tool and uh, that's like seven. Clip off thread, bend your wings down so that they're totally flat. And then take that extra little bit of hackle or tag in there. Snip that off. Kind of fluff it out a little bit. Bend them back some. And uh, pull your legs forward. Adjust everything. Get it, get it exactly the way that you want to fish it. And then... You can uh, take some crazy glue. I like crazy glue. It's a lot cheaper than head cement that you buy at a fly shop. And it, uh, it sets up quite a bit harder. Uh, you can do it like Loctite or whatever floats your boat. And uh, just hit the head once a little bit and stick a... Uh, take a piece of hackle that you know you're not going to use. One of those little dinky pieces. And uh, cut the tip off. Strip it down. And uh, take that part of the feather... And put it through the eye and then pull it through and put your head cement on so that it uh, doesn't get any head cement in the eye and then you want to put a drop on each one of those thread spots on here so that it doesn't come undone but uh, that's your finished fly and it uh, this one's not looking too bad it looks like it turned out pretty good and uh, well you should have pretty good luck with that
and uh, remember to keep on fishing.